Um, ERP stands for Event Related Potential. Essentially, this is time-locked electrical activity um, elicited by certain stimuli. And ERPs are intracranial signals. They reflect postsynaptic potential activity. They're named after their polarity and latencies. So a name of an ERP would be N2. The N stands for negative, and the 2 stands for 200. So this ERP occurs approximately 200 milliseconds after a stimulus. And uh, they can be positive or negative. They can be, you know, early, mid, or late latency. So some ERPs, like the P50, 50 milliseconds after a response, or after a stimulus, excuse me, and then some are very late, like 400 milliseconds. And uh, it captures the joint effort of many neurons. Research on ERPs picked up in the 60s, as scientists noticed unique response patterns uh, evoked by certain reference events. So this is where we really started to study cognition with EEG and how, uh, how people process information. So, for an example, the oddball task has been used for decades to elicit a P3 response. And this is an ERP related to stimulus, discrimination, and attention. So, P3 response amplitude will increase if a stimulus is novel, in other words, an oddball stimulus, in comparison to frequent stimuli. So in this sort of paradigm, you would present someone with repetitive tones and then the occasional odd tone, and you would see the P3 respond in kind when novel stimulus popped up by increasing in amplitude. And uh, something to note is that many trials are needed to create an average ERP response because they can be somewhat unreliable. The more the better uh, for number of trials, really as many as you can manage without making something too fatiguing or too boring, because at that point you're also going to be measuring something else inadvertently, you're going to be confounding your data with uh, a sleepy person or a bored or a, you know, annoyed person. So um, it depends on the task. Sometimes you can uh, you know, easily get in 600 trials of an auditory task where you just hear a click. Uh, on the other hand, if you're talking about a visual task where you need to actually do something, then, you know, 80 trials may be more realistic. It really just depends on the task.